The Big Ten Student Design Challenge started in the fall of 2018. It was designed for us to hear from students about what they want their learning spaces to look like. So this project involved students competing nationally for three top spots, and those three universities sent a team of student designers to do a national competition, and the winner of that national competition will have the space design that they put together built on their local campus. And those teams are here now in Michigan. They are getting ready to pitch their designs to a team of academics and professionals from Herman Miller. We know that the world that we live in is changing really rapidly and that students when they graduate from college need to have the expertise and the discipline that they're studying but they also need to be able to work with each other and they need to be able to pitch their ideas and identify problems and think about ways to solve those problems and I think that this design challenge is an opportunity to really engage all of those things and it prepares them for the world that they'll live and work in after graduation. Well I was nervous because I didn't know what to expect. I haven't done anything like this before and I mean also seeing Herman Miller like everywhere it's kind of exciting to see it and be there in person. My grandma actually has a Herman Miller Ames lounge chair, so it almost feels full circle a little bit because I was little and I was climbing all over these chairs and I had no idea what it meant or how it impacted the design world and now I'm here sitting here with you guys. Well, I came into this with like no expectations really. Everyone's super nice and very helpful. Um, you can tell like everyone here cares. I didn't realize how big this headquarters was. <laughs> And then, I, and then we came here and this building is like even bigger. Having the students as part of this challenge helps us get as close to that student experience as we can without doing things like focus groups and the traditional models. Um, this is a much more empathetic approach, I think. They are actually developing from their point of view the solution and presenting it to us. We give them feedback and then we're interested to see what they do with the feedback and how it really helps them along their journey of coming up with a solution. But that's learning. That's what learning is about. Students use spaces like classrooms and those interactive areas. So I think it's important to hear what students want. Design can impact the way people move through a space, how it's utilized, what types of activities you want. You can really control the way the user uses the space, but also being empathetic towards the user. It's been a great learning experience to try and incorporate everyone's different ideas while still keeping the integrity of what we want to accomplish in the space. After pitching their designs on the last day, a panel of judges determined that the Ohio State design won. And what was most exciting to me was to hear the students talk about this was the point at which they would normally turn in their project and get a grade and be done. And this for them really was the starting point now, that they were going to build a room and see actual people in it and see how their design impacted those learners. Knowing you have control not only in how a space looks but how people act in this space. Um, I think it's very important. I want to make an impact and what better way to make an impact by doing something you love, you know?